Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel lecture series on microcontroller and ARM processor. In this video, I am going to explain uh, earliest deadline first scheduling algorithm. Uh, in this algorithm, uh, the process is going to follow a earliest deadline. So in the previous algorithm which I have taught is a rate monotonic algorithm in which we are following the priority. So based on the priority, we are going to assign the process in the scheduling. But in this algorithm, the earliest deadline first scheduling algorithm, we are going to assign the process in the scheduling process based on the earliest deadline. So if you look at this uh, table, we have three process uh, which are indicated here as P1, P2, P3 and each and every process has a deadline. Okay, P1 process has a deadline of 7. Uh, before the deadline reaches, it has to execute 3 times over a period of 20 and P2 uh, process has to execute 2 times. Uh, before the deadline 4 and uh, for every 5 interval and P3 process has to execute 2 times uh, before the deadline 8 for a period of 10 interval. Okay. Now we will see how to allocate this process uh, in the scheduling process. Okay. So the criteria of ALS deadline first scheduling process is that you have to first take the LCM of the period 20, 5, 10. If you take the LCM you will get 20. So this 20 uh, uh, it defines that you, you are going to have a scheduling time, a overall scheduling Scheduling time from, from 0 to 20. Okay. Now uh, you have to the second criteria is you have to consider the earliest deadline based on that you are going to allocate the process in the scheduling. Okay. Uh, if you take the first process P1, the P1 uh, has to execute 3 units for a period of 20, but it has to complete its execution before the deadline reaches. Okay. Uh, deadline is 7 for P1 process. Now coming to P2 process, uh, for every 5 interval of time, it has to execute 2 times, but the deadline for the uh, process 2 is 4. So what you have to do, before, before deadline reaches, it has to execute 2 times, then 4 plus 5, because every 5 interval it has to execute 2 in it, right? So uh, 4 plus 5 is 9, so before the 9 reaches, it has to execute 2 times, then uh, before uh, 9 plus 5 is 14, so before uh, 14 reaches, it has to execute 2 times, then 14 plus 19, uh, 14 plus 5 is 19, so uh, it has to execute. 2 minutes before uh, 19 reaches, before the deadline reaches, okay, that is for P2 process. Now move on to P3 process, the P3 process has to execute uh, 2 times before the deadline reaches. So the deadline for P3 process is 8, so before 8 it has to execute 2 times and uh, 8 plus uh, 10 because for every 10 interval of time it has to execute 2 times, okay. So 8 plus 10 is 18, so before 18 reaches it has to execute uh, 2 times. Okay, now we will see how to allocate the process in the scheduling. Okay, uh, so first of what you have to do, you have to follow a deadline because it is the earliest deadline first scheduling algorithm. We have to first uh, check which process has the earliest deadline. Okay, so after these three process, the P1, P2 and P3, the P2 process has the earliest deadline, the value is 4. Okay, now what you have to do, you have to take the P2 process as a first process for scheduling process. Okay, so the P2 is allocated but how many units it has to execute or how many times it has to execute, it has to execute 2 times before 4. Okay, so can put uh, two units for this P2 process. Okay. Now uh, next, you have to check which processor has the earliest deadline. So here the process uh, P1 and P3 we have. So P1 processor has seven uh, value earliest value, and P3 processor has the eight as a value. Okay. So we can see which one has the earliest deadline. It is a P1 process. Now we have to alert the P1 process here. But the P1 process, how many units it has to execute before the seven reaches? It has to execute three unit of time. Uh, three three times okay so i am just assigning the p1 three times here p1 p1 and p1 three units it has to uh, execute before the deadline seven reaches okay now after that you can check which process is having a earliest deadline so we have only two process because the p1 execution is over now now we can uh, look at the gain chart after the p1 process executed three times this will not uh, take a part in the scheduling process hereafter okay because the p1 execution is completed okay now we uh, uh, now we can see uh, the which processor has a earliest deadline. We have P2 and P3 process. The P3 process the deadline value is 8. Okay. And P2 process has a deadline of 9. So the earliest deadline is P3 process. Okay. Uh, so how many units it has to execute before the 8 reaches? It has to execute uh, 2 units of time. So I am assigning P3 process 2 times. 
okay next you can check which processor has a a listed deadline so here i am going to check the next process a p2 process okay so the p2 processor has a deadline of 9 okay i am uh, how many unit it has to execute it has to execute a uh, two unit before the deadline reaches okay so i am assigning p2 process two times before the 9 comes okay before the deadline reaches okay so after that what you have to do you have to check for p1 process the p1 process execution is already over so you know it will not take a path of uh, uh, scheduling process okay next uh, you can check which process has a ALS deadline we have only two options p2 and p3 process the p1 process already completed its execution so it will not take a path or you cannot uh, you can say you cannot alert this p1 process for further scheduling clear now you can see which process has a ALS deadline out of p2 and p3 okay so here the p2 processor has a deadline value of 14 and before 14 comes it has to execute two times okay so you can assign p2 process for two units okay then you can check uh, the uh, next process which has a ALS deadline this is 18 and 19 the p3 processor has a deadline value of 18 and p2 processor has a, a deadline value of 19 okay so after these two the 18 is a ALS deadline so we have to allocate this p3 process uh, two times because it has to complete two time execution before 18 reaches okay so here you can have p3 process allocation is two unit and uh, after that you can check one only one processor is left out that is p2 process which has a deadline of 19 okay so before uh, 19 comes and before deadline reaches it has to execute two unit of time okay or two times it has to complete its execution so now we can assign again p2 two times and you can complete the scheduling process okay so in earliest deadline first scheduling algorithm uh, the processor is allocated in the scheduling process based on the earliest deadline Okay, so this is called the earliest deadline first scheduling algorithm and thank you for watching.